and introduce him to you first. Fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 62.6 kilograms and trains under Chris Brown out of Adrenaline MMA, making his pro debut tonight inside the Eternal Cage. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Val Sharapov! And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he weighed in at 61.6 kilograms and trains under Ryan Gray and Ben Vickers at a scrappy MMA. With a one fight professional career, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together, make some noise for Darcy Spower! Darcy Spower, Nakia Melody signals us for round one. We are underway to near Nathan Cage side once again with Casey O'Neill and a Sharipov. Yeah, look, both guys looked super confident in the tail of the tape there. Darcy's come out already more aggressive than he was with Juani. Well, there's that this. grappling. You spoke about Casey, oh, but he's, he's in deep neck, there. Though. He's got his neck, though. Darcy does have great submissions off of his back. He's got great technical jujitsu. He's got his neck here, but look for him to not try and squeeze too hard. He might gas out his arms super early here and he's out. Gosh, that was close. Val took him for a ride. Yeah, look, he does have that really good wrestling background. You see it even in all of his amateur fights. His, his game plan was the same. Get forward with his strikes and get them to the ground as quickly as possible. And he's managed to do that in the first minute here, which is a good feeling in your pro debut, being able to, to dictate the pace and dictate where you have the fight so early in the fight. Absolutely, and uh, as mentioned, fighting out of Adrenaline MMA, I apologize, I said one of two. He's one of three mixed martial artists to appear. Let's go. Here at Eternal 69, once again, this matchup, proudly presented by our wagering partners at NEDS, taking it to the NEDS level. Val Shapirov, the first to represent Adrenaline MMA. Matt Myers coming up next before Aiden Aguilera makes the final walk to the cage for our main event later on tonight. Back to the action, Shapirov, right in front of his corner, Casey. He's in a good position here. Yeah, look, he, he is in a great position and he is mean. He is grinding his forehead against Darcy's face, making it so uncomfortable for Darcy here. He's got his head trapped against the fence. There's nowhere for Darcy to go right here. Darcy is doing all the right things. He's putting his feet on the hips, trying to make space and trying to find a submission or work his way back up. But Val is making it a dog fight. He's making it dirty in there. Yeah, he is indeed, and uh, again, giving credit to the rounds he's done down in Melbourne. But Darcy, no stranger to tough times inside the walls of Scrappy MMA with training partners like Jack Della, Madalena, Rod Costa. Throw Jack Becker in there, why don't you? Even our fine MC Blake Richardson gets a few rounds in at Scrappy MMA now and then. So look for Darcy to... Dig deep here as we come up to the halfway mark here in round number one. Val is starting to progress his position. He's now in a sort of modified half guard there. Darcy's staying composed and working real hard as well. Both guys are here. It's a sort of technical chess mat with those, uh, those feet. Who's going to get the better position there? And Val's just trying to work his way to improve his position. Just grab the neck here. Let it go. Well, Darcy, he's not necessarily in a spot of bother, but in the eyes of the judges, Casey, it is all Val Shapirov, heavily dominant. Yeah, no, he's staying composed and doing all the right things, as I said, but this sort of fight and this sort of fighter that he's fighting, this is how these people win rounds. They get on top of you, they make it uncomfortable, you can't get up. They might not be finishing you or doing the most damage in the world, but they're holding you there and scoring points, and you're on your back, unable to, to sort of get any offense off for yourself. Oh, he's got, he's got this arm triangle right here. Look for him to step off. Just let it go. He's got a long time to work this in. Just over a minute left in round number one. Sharipov, Sharipov rather, with time to work. Landing big shots to Darcy's, uh, to Darcy's ribs there, making it Ooh. super uncomfortable for Darcy. And he gets the full mount, and he steps off. Has he got the angle on this? It looks tight. It looks super tight. This is huge for Sharipov. Spell it. Stay with me, He's stay with still me. in this, my goodness! Oh.
Ladies and gentlemen, our referee in charge has called a stop to this fight at four minutes and 14 seconds of round number one. Declaring your winner by a submission due to a head and arm choke in the blue corner, Val Sharipov. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your winner and a successful pro debut inside the Eternal Cage, Val Sharipov. Congratulations, Val. Now, listen, you had a tough first ask in a pro fight in an opponent like Darcy Spout. Tell us, what was the difference preparing for a five-minute fight as opposed to the usual three-minute amateur fight? Well, well uh, in training, obviously, we focus mainly on fitness, and Darcy's really experienced. He's got a good amateur record, and he's... Uh, Done one professional fight before me, so we really practiced the grappling side of the uh, side of the uh, side of the fight and worked out. So you're focused on grappling. Well, it certainly seemed that way, my friend. It's no secret your opponent had some slick striking, as you've seen on the tape. Um, but once you got it to the ground, it was just a slow grind, eventually consolidating the position and getting the submission. Was that particular submission something that your team drilled at Adrenaline MMA, or was it something that just opened itself up in the moment? It sort of opened itself up. I'm, I was looking for the position first, and then looking for a submission. Well, he gave me a good position, and then overall took a submission. So we're focusing on overall submissions. If it's there, we'll take it. Well, it certainly was there, my friend, and you did take it. Now, you said in your pre-fight interview that you always had a dream of being great at sport and you chose the hardest sport in the world. What is it that drew you to MMA that you love about it? And is there anyone you want to thank for your performance tonight? All right, I've got a couple of things I've got to say. First of all, I would like to apologize to my opponent and Eternal in general. I missed weight by 0 .0, 0 0.9 kilos. I'm not 61.7, missed it out. I'm sorry. I'd like to apologize to Scrappy as well. My fault won't, won't happen again. Second of all, thanks to Adrenaline and my sponsors, LPA, John and Linda, uh, the Energy Solution Group. Thanks so much for the, all the support and help. Thanks, Adrenaline team. Thanks, family. All right here. Thanks, guys. And thanks, Eternal. Thanks, Queensland. Thanks, guys. Well, a great show of accountability there. And we'll no doubt see you sooner rather than later. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for your winner, Val Sharipov.